I'd be really impressed if anyone can tell me what this bird is. Yeah. It is an eagle, yes. So, well done. Fantastic. It is. So this guy, you're exactly right, it's called a sea eagle and there's another name for it. I'll give you a clue. What colour is its tail, if you can see there? Yes, 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 it's white tail eagle. Well done, fantastic. So you can see this is really, really impressive bird. White tail eagles or sea eagles, just like you said, is another name for them. They love living beside the sea. Did you? Whoa, God, you've seen loads. So look what it's doing here. See? So it just caught, could you see it catching the fish? So that's what they, they love. They live either on big lakes or on the coast and they feed on fish or sometimes say if dead animals wash up like a whale or something like that. That's great, great feeding for a white-tailed eagle. So look, it looks like it's a huge, huge big bird. It's actually our biggest bird of prey. So you saw the photograph of me with the golden eagle. The white-tailed eagle is actually bigger than that. So it's our biggest. No, look at this, look, look at the size of this guy, look. So you imagine if you're that size, and this is the white-tailed eagle, this is shown, yeah. That, so it's huge altogether. So, if you, if you think, of, if when you think, when you look at a golden eagle like that, you think because it's so big and powerful, it catches other animals, nothing catches and feeds on it. So you might think that it has no problems at all, but it's actually not the case. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit of a, a story about white-tailed eagles, because they're really important to this area. This is one of the best places in the country for them. So a long, long time ago, a long time before you were born, a long time before I was born, even a long time, way before your parents were born, um, about a hundred, over a hundred years ago, um, there was white-tailed eagles living um, in Ireland. And then unfortunately, they were driven to extinction, which means that they were wiped out. There was no more white-tailed eagles. So there was no more white-tailed eagles left in Ireland um, from about 100 years ago. Then back a few years ago, so firstly take a look at this guy. This is a white-tailed eagle chick. It's in its nest, and this isn't from Ireland. This is taken over in Norway. So you can see there's a guy there climbing up to the nest. And the reason he's doing that is because White-tailed eagles are doing pretty well over in Norway. I'll show you where Norway is in a minute. So there was a reintroduction project set up by the Golden Eagle Trust. What reintroduction means is that the white-tailed eagles were actually reintroduced. They were brought back to Ireland, which was fantastic. So you can see Norway up there on top, and there is little old Ireland over on the, the side. So you'll know where it is, yeah. So you can see quite a big distance away. So. What happened was 100 white, young white-tailed eagle chicks were brought over from Norway to Ireland. Yeah, they're put into a special, um, special uh, cage and then once, and they were fed until they were big enough and old enough to fly and to go and feed themselves. And then when they were, they were all released and then they spread out right throughout the country. So you can see one here and you can see it's got a special tag on its wing and that's put on so that, so that we can tell which which they are, we, they, all, they all have their own like names. We can tell which they are. And then you can see, you might be able to see the tag on its back. That's a special tag to be able to follow where it goes. So you, can, you don't have to be able to see the bird, you can go onto a website and see, right, it's, it's flown from Galway to Limerick today. And then maybe the next day it might have gone over all the way to, towards Dublin and then back again. They can cover huge distances. So that's fantastic. So it went from having no white-tailed eagles anymore to now having them again. And as I said, this is one of the best places in the country for them because uh, not too far from here, do you, do you know Loch Derg? Yeah. The big lake, yeah? Have, we, have any of you been to Loch Derg? Yeah. yeah, okay, a lot of you, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, fantastic, so you know it really well. So on Loch Derg, there's now two pairs of white-tailed eagles, which is the best lake in the country for them.